Uh, you know, about the Baramika, I wanted to say as well, it's a shame that some people took this, you know, some historians, the historians have no idea, this is a fact, historians have no certainty on why Harun al-Rashid did what he did. They have speculations and their theories vary drastically from insults to power to his sister to, you know, feeling insulted to there's, there's a bunch of different any nobody's sure because Harun al-Rashid didn't tell anyone why he did it. And it happened so fast and then people weren't allowed to talk about it. So it just he took it to his grave. But it's a shame that some Muslim, um, some Muslims, and this is not um, not the majority, but some Muslims to justify him took to racism. That you see, when you listen to them, if you listen to this story and you listen to some um, scholars saying it, and some some of the Arab preachers, some of them, they resort to this anti-Persian rhetoric of the Persians have always been filthy, they've always been kafar, kafir, they've been fire worshippers, they've been, you know, this kind of, and how can they compare to Harun al-Rashid who's from Bani Hashim and he's from the Hashemites and he's from, and they took to this to justify what Harun al-Rashid did. Uh, they said that he's somebody who, who performed Hajj every other year. How could he be ever questioned? I'm not saying he didn't perform Hajj, but so did the, the Baramika performed Hajj. In fact, they used to have a regular stationed uh, deployment at Hajj. It was always there. It was from the al Burmak, And in fact, it appears in many of the history stories. It's not about just because you do Hajj, you can never think bad or you can never go astray or just because you happen to be an Arab or just because your family are from Ban al-Abbas that you are some kind of saint. You have to remember that the Kuffar of Quraysh, many of them were more closely related to the Prophet than anybody on earth today will ever be or even more than Harun al-Rashid could ever be closely related to the Prophet were many of the Kuffar of Quraysh including some of the Prophet's own uncles turning against him. So, you know, this thing of, because it, it just, you see, it's, it's, it's hurtful when you hear people just justifying it by racism. <laughs> I mean, for the love of God, you know, don't be racist, you understand? Like, look, there is no, the Prophet said very clearly, and the Quran teaches very clearly, all human beings are equal. D don't bring out this anti-Farsi rhetoric of these Persians, the Furus, these people are just majus and they're filthy and they, they're like this. And, they, and there's a lot of this. I'm really surprised with the amount of, you know, the propaganda that some of the uh, preachers did to justify Harun or she try and put him in a light or in a good light. Look, there's no doubt this was an act of a regrettable to the utmost degree, regrettable tragedy. And it's something that darkened and poisoned Harun or Rashid's own soul. But that said, I'm sure he did many great things as well. You know, I'm sure he did Hajj every other year. I'm sure the Baramika did many great things. In fact, they were the ones that were actually built most the infrastructure of the Muslim world at the time. It wasn't Harun or Rashid. So this thing of just bringing out this anytime there's a there's a rivalry between somebody and you see, what's race got to do with it? You see, why, why are we bringing race into it? Why are we saying the color of their skin or the color? What's this got to do with anything? They are people take them on their merits. People say that they were corrupt. They may have been corrupt, but this, this act of brutality was no, you know, what was he cleaning, draining the swamp? <laughs> he ruined the whole dynasty. He got ruined after, after he died and his sons just fought each other, destroyed Baghdad. And then after that, it was lost. The 
Abbasid dynasty just became a nominal dynasty. It was just monumental for its name. And they never ruled it after that, really, in effect, de facto. It was just the Bunny Boy head, and then you've got the, you know, Malik Shah and other people, the Seljuks appearing, and you've got the Fatimin from Egypt. And so it's not, uh, it's just disappointing, that's all. I just wanted to say that, that don't, please, you know, if you see stuff like that, don't support it. Don't, racism is bang out of order. It's nothing to do with people, you know, it isn't an opportunity to start bashing Iranians or bashing Farsi people or bashing, <laughs> you know, his own. Th this is this is the irony. Many of the Abbasid, their own mums were Persian. This is it. So, so when they start, some of them start. You know, people start saying this. Oh, the the Persians have been poisonous and this and that, and it's nonsense.